Yay Drone here, we are in the drone shed. We have a little solar experiment going on here. So I got a battery right here. It is reading 10.02 volts. What we're gonna do, we're gonna connect that solar panel to this battery. It's, there's no, there's really no sun out. It's, it's super cloudy. Um, but I'm going to show you the voltage that's coming off of this. This is only in here because this is powering this. And ideally, if that will power this, we can then run this off of this and charge our lipos running out of here um, which would be running out of here this is just testing voltage right, guys. gator clips are now connected to the solar panel and we are reading on a cloudy day this thing is outputting 19.79 volts that should be enough to get this to where it needs to be um obviously there's no regulator i don't got a regulator in between this so i'm going to be constantly monitoring it and checking it but let's go ahead and throw the positive and negative off of the solar panel onto this battery and see if we can get this charged right, up i just want to show you how i have it connected solar panel wire is going to here i have uh, our dean's connector which was originally plugged into the opposite side of that dean's connector which connected to the positive and negative it went male Dean's connector to female Dean's connector, and that's how I had the gator clips on the outside. Now we're going to have gator clips on the positive and negative of the solar panel because I've taken these little things and I put it in there, I've connected them to it. And right now, all I have is the gator clips connected here just to see that we are still getting a solar voltage out reading, which we are. So now I'm going to disconnect the positive and negative off this Dean's connector. We're going to connect it to the positive and negative of this. We're going to let it charge and then we're going to come back and check. Right, guys, here we go. We got a positive and negative coming out here into that connection that I showed you running over there to the solar panel. We were at 10.02 volts. So we're gonna let this sit for like five, 10 minutes. I'm gonna come back, we're gonna check the voltage and then we'll let it continually charge. But I just wanna monitor this to see that it is working. This is a car charging battery. That is a 12 volt charging battery, despite the fact it was outputting a lot more than 12 volts, which is a little bit weird. But uh, there should be an automatic shut off on this as well, where it's not going to overcharge this because again, that's what that's the design for. So after only sitting for about five, 10 minutes max, we're up to 10.72. Uh, we were at 10.02, so this is definitely gonna work. It is holding its charge. As you can see, it's not fluctuating up or down. Uh, and again, th this is how I'm testing the voltage now. I have positive and negative running over there into a wire and a positive and negative into there. And uh, I've disconnected the positive from the solar panel. I have the gator clip holding the negative on there. So we're going to get the solar panel connected to this again. We're going to get a full charge on this. This seems to be like it's going to be there. It's Is it dropping? No, 10.64. So maybe it dropped a point or maybe that was just my thumb getting a little bit loose here because <laughs> it seems to be maintaining um this is probably going to be the most budget friendly um solar thing that you can do uh, i'm not sure what you could get these online for they're actually probably more expensive than getting a real solar panel because i have a real solar panel coming in just as well as a box to connect in between everything to show me the voltage so i don't got to do this to keep testing the voltage but we're, we're going to go ahead and power and we are going to uh or not power we're just going to disconnect this we're going to connect this back on there and now it's charging off of the sun uh and then we're going to let that sit for a considerable amount more time we're not going to keep coming back every 10 minutes um and see where we're at then it's charging guys i want to show you something else i have a three it's actually a four panel hanging out the window here and we're just going to go inside and this has four usbs just like this if you can see here the light is lit red um i don't know that i can plug this in um on camera with one hand but if i were to plug this into that which i'm going to do um the light would go out now this one doesn't have an indicator that is a simple micro and it's going to my hat cam as you can see the lights lit red so you can go for a standalone like this and this is a 28 watt three port solar charger it has four panels clearly this panel is not getting hardly anything because i have the other three hanging out the window i could hang all four out the window but three seems to be working um and as you can see that just turned on so the reason that just turned on is maybe the solar power wasn't strong enough and then kicked again um because that's typically if you have a loose connection inside the house It'll do that. But again, 
it's definitely charging that's ready to charge and uh we'll check uh after i'll plug this in i'll show you the led and we'll check voltage on this again all right it was at 10.72 we are now at 11.64 we started at 10.08 so this is definitely working and that might be fluctuating just because uh, I'm thumbing it here. I don't have it clamped down, but we seem to be locked on 11.60. Now back to the standalone here. Um, as you can see, the USB no longer has a light on it because we have our JJRC, if you could see that. Bam, come on, focus. Bam, JJRC 150 milliamp an hour battery on it. And over here, we still have a light there. That battery is actually off of a new drone that I got in. Um, this right here and this when I when I do the, the video on this this drone will have been charged the battery itself via solar so the video will be brought to you solar my hat cam which I will be using will also be charged by a solar so standalone is a good idea for small stuff for a little bit larger stuff uh, you're definitely going to want and we could connect this so it keeps charging um, and we can disconnect the negative off of our here um, you're definitely going to want a solar panel that is dumping into a battery that way you can run off of a battery much like I'm running this off of a battery an AC DC converter which I have coming in um, ideally would be so you could just plug in household right, devices guys, I just want to show you something I actually have it hooked up now where I can get a constant reading on it and just to show you I'm gonna take this I'm gonna tilt it forward um, I'm gonna go ahead and tilt this forward as you can see voltage of the battery goes up that's because more voltage is going into it now clearly if I tilt that back which I've just done voltage drops a little bit because it didn't charge it that quick um, and then again if I completely block it away from the Sun voltage will drop a little bit and then show the Sun voltage goes up and then have it pointing directly and actually there is no Sun like again it's still super cloudy out if you can see um, but this is definitely working. This is going to be your most budget-friendly setup here. As you can see, it's dropped a little bit because I kind of have it tilted back here. It should be tilted that way. Um, and I could just stick the screwdriver under it, which actually I had under it. Uh, so this, just a general look, guys. This, this is not really to save money. It's to save my house. <laughs> if I'm charging out here in this shed, which will give you a little pan around my shed here, um, if my shed goes, hey, what's up, buddy? Look at that guy. He used to hang in the window. Um, if my shed goes, we'll have three cases of drones that go. Those will still be fine. Chainsaw will probably be gone. Uh, my drill will probably go be gone. Uh, a lot of cords will be gone. Like, there, there's... This stuff is disposable to me. <laughs> it really is. Um, bam, so engine will probably be okay. Some of the, some of the wires on it won't be. Uh, but uh, as far as my house goes, I won't be, I won't be jeopardizing my house. So, uh, and ideally charge off solar, have an AC DC converter coming off it. That way we're not hooking up our charger like this, but just to show you, if you don't have an AC DC converter, you can completely skip the AC DC converter and, uh, just charge off this. And again, with the solar going in and out, this turns on and off. But as you can see, we'll go ahead and turn it off. We still have a constant red. That takes a long time to charge. I did have one of these batteries charged, um, and you can see a little blue light blinking there where the light turned on, but then I pulled it by the wires and screwed up the connection, so we're charging another one. Guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Questions, comments, concerns down below. Stay tuned for this channel. I'm going to have a little bit more expensive, but it's going to be under $100 um solar setup video which will be a lot more efficient than what we have going on here but again we have a standalone which is charging action camera small battery and again the one small battery did charge but i pulled it from the wires and disconnected them and then we have a solar panel that's charging this battery which then without an ac dc converter we can connect the positive negative lead to hook to our balance charger and then charge our batteries off of it um bam, so we got this coming up next guys this is coming up next uh this is pretty cool hopefully it binds the jumper again if you haven't subscribed smash the subscribe button questions comments concerns really quickly guys we had it here i have it outside now on that 
and that is the voltage that we were getting. It's charging a lot quicker with that outside and the sun is trying to peek out from the clouds. It's not doing a good job, but not direct sunlight. Can you imagine direct sunlight, how well this would work? I just wanted to show you the specifications on the solar panel that I'm using. It's a Coleman, two watt solar panel, um, up to two watts, 23 volts, and uh, tension maximum output, 15 volts. A short circuit, I'm not sure what that's all about. But uh, that way you know exactly what I'm showing you guys here. The AMZO, red light's on. That means that battery's fully charged. That didn't take long at all. That took like 5, 10 minutes to fully charge that little battery. Clearly, this takes a long time to charge, uh, even in-house, off an outlet. So that's still charging. Uh, so we could go out and unplug that. And then what we can plug in, just to food for thought, power banks. We can now harness the sun's energy being drawn through this all-in-one and put it in a power bank and store power cloudy day we're out here and we need power by usb we got usb that we can plug into this one here this one has a plug on it as well so we can then utilize that uh so just a couple things you can do here um if you're completely not charging any lipo devices inside off your wall outlets you have this charged by this so solar energy is being stored in here. You can then take this inside and keep it near you and charge your phone off. Just to show you guys, I've now plugged that into the solar panel. This gives me an indicator on how full it is, so I know how full it's charging. This is probably going to take a long while. Um, I'm, I, I have no, no reason to need that USB port, but again, we have other USB ports inside this little pouch where these wires are coming out of. Uh, the camera's still charging. And by the time this is done and fills, I will have a power bank full of solar energy um, that I can then utilize elsewhere that didn't cost me any money um, as far as in the house with the light bill or anything. This is just another look here, guys. You really don't need to be charging these batteries in your house. Um, and just to show you, which I didn't show you, I have this battery. It's been on for been on for eight minutes and nine seconds we're charging at 1.5 amps we're almost charged we're almost charged in eight minutes um and that's off of this battery sure this battery wasn't charged by solar i had it sitting around it had a charge in it but hypothetically speaking it's the same thing as this if i did charge this off of solar full charge we'd be running it the same way